shine bright, and prepare for a big shift. The intensity of our outer world is ramping up, and from today until the end of the year, a big shift is going to occur in consciousness. This shift will split humans, but not in the same way that the 3D world divides us. Mainstream media, governmental politics, etc. work to polarize our societies in order to divide humanity into argumentative sides. This consciousness shift will be one to unify humanity, so stay with me. Those that work to divide us are going to deliver devastating chaos in an attempt to distract us from some hard truths. Some of this chaos will affect individuals personally, but hear this sweet soul. This chaos is not to be feared. There is a higher purpose and meaning in how we each respond to it, and this is where the consciousness split will happen that will unify us into one humanity. There will be a subset of humanity who reacts to the chaos in fear. These events will strip away life as they know it. Those who are still waiting for life to go back to normal will finally understand that there is no going back. They will be given the opportunity to rebuild in a healthy and sustainable way, but first it will take emotions like anger, grief, and even loss as life as they know it rearranges itself. This will be a transformational time for many in humanity. However, if you've ever been through the transformational process, and my guess is that you have if you're here, you know that the beginning stages are so scary. Then there is the other subset of humanity who have been spiritually and emotionally trained for this very time to assist those who are being forced to transform by these physical world changes. This subset has been through the stages of transformation already and understands the process. This will be the subset that will be supportive, assist, and be there for those who are just beginning the process in the upcoming months. This will be the subset that are the mission souls who were sent here at this very time to be the ones who lead the consciousness of this shift. Do you see what I'm putting down here? There is something so much bigger at work here than the 3D world leaders and events creating chaos of destruction. There is a spiritual process in action that is helping all of humanity to ascend into higher states of being so that we can all live a more balanced, abundant life. It's a beautiful thing, and yet the early stages of transformation require us to let go of all of the things that do not truly resonate with the higher frequency of our ascended souls. Many people in the first subset will have to let go of homes, jobs, people, and circumstances that were truly not serving them, and this can be a lot to process for a person deeply attached to the outer aspects of the material world. You are a transformer of worlds, sweet soul, even if it's been only transforming your own world. You know this process. You know how light and beautiful it is on the other side of transformation. And you know the pain and grief that comes with the process. You've sat in it. You've stared these emotions in the eye and you've had your dark night of the soul. You know the dark night doesn't kill you. It just sheds the skin of the ego-created world you once lived so you can rebirth into the soul-led world you were meant to live. It will soon be time to assist others through their own dark night of the soul into their own transformational rebirth. You will play a pivotal role in unifying humanity. This is your time to shine bright as the beacon of light you are. Let's break this down into our multidimensional parts today to prepare you in these last days before this consciousness shift happens in the 3D physical world. Your spiritual fifth dimensional self. All the inner work you have put in throughout the last few months and years is going to start showing up in your physical reality. It may have seemed that you kept doing work, but it wasn't reflecting in your physical reality. That is because there were many layers that had to be shifted within, and as you shed each layer, there was another one to shed. This process kept your consciousness tuned in to the inner work within as you detached from the outer world. As your outer world collapsed during the dark night, 
You kept processing, purging, and shedding all the grief, loss, and fear that bubbled up as you watched your outer world crumble. The majority of that work has passed, so as you step into the other side of transformation, you may not have nearly the things and the people in your life that you used to, but you feel abundant, free, and full of possibilities. Those feelings create an electromagnetic field around you pulling in all of those possibilities into your reality. Now is your time to watch your inner world be reflected in your outer world. With today being a new moon, spend time envisioning, journaling, and speaking into reality that which you are truly ready to see in your outer world. You may just find that you no longer desire big houses, fancy cars, and luxury vacations. You will most likely find that your intentions are grounded in inner and outer sustainability, creative endeavors that light you up, and how you can be of service. And don't worry, your time is nearly here to be that. I'll remind you that soul desires and intentions are glimpses into multidimensional lives being lived right now. They are just in another timeline of existence operating in another higher frequency. You simply follow where you are led by your soul each day to elevate your frequency into that timeline. Before you know it, you'll be living that desire. You may be faced with some important decisions in the next 24 to 48 hours. Remember, you are still practicing living with your higher self in the lead, so pay attention with how you're making your decision. Strengthen your courage muscle by following her lead. She'll lead you to the riskier unknown choice and your ego will take you down the safer path. Remember everything you have learned along your transformational journey by remembering that what was once a risky choice led you to be the person you are right now. Trust yourself. Your emotional fourth dimensional self. I'd like to ask that you acknowledge the value in the inner work you have done to transform your life by tuning into your emotions. Our culture teaches us to ignore stuff or avoid our emotions because quite frankly, they are the portal to your most sovereign and free self. So there is a vested interest in the outer world for you not to acknowledge them. Not you, sweet soul. You've been brave enough to invite them in, to sit with them and be with them. That's no easy task at first, but now you're a pro. If there's any doubt in that, I'm here to support you on that journey. Follow your service-based heart. Be confident in it. The mind is now submissive to your higher self. Therefore, you are safe to rely on where your heart leads you and she has a purpose in where she leads you. You are a peace warrior now, so where you are led needs your presence and your energy. You are being divinely guided to go where your energy will bring peace and unity. Just as yesterday's message suggests, Pay attention to any heaviness in your heart and alchemize it. Do what you do best and discern what the heaviness is communicating to you. This upcoming shift requires you to support others from the heart, and you cannot do that fully with any heaviness there. Your physical third dimensional self. Wealth in the sense of your physical life is about to expand greatly as long as you have cleared much of what was weighing you down. Again, wealth isn't always about the material in a multidimensional consciousness. It includes all areas of life. Where would you like to feel more abundant? Now is the time to start looking for all the ways that abundance expands in that area of your life. If there is still stuff to clear in this area, get to it. Don't delay any longer because if you don't choose it now, you will have no choice when these powerful energies coming up force the change. Purging of this remaining stuff, meaning jobs, possessions, people, and or circumstances in your physical world could feel disappointing to you, but remember this, you've already worked through the emotional purge of it, which is the cause, so the falling away in the physical world is simply the effect. You've already done the major work, so simply allow it to go. As your physical wealth expands, you may feel the familiar feeling of anxiety creeping up, but remember that you may be experiencing the opposite expression of that, which feels oddly similar, and that is excitement. 
embrace and recognize the subtle yet really powerful difference in these two emotions. Excitement is the sign that expansion is happening and you are shifting into higher frequencies of being. Uh -huh. Getting closer to resonating with those new intentions. You are a master of your world now, so anything from here on out can be a cakewalk as long as you have done your inner work to heal and alchemize all remaining densities. Final thoughts? Sit intently with your intentions on this new moon. Connect to them. Feel them. Become the electromagnetic field it takes to draw them into your physical reality. You are ripe to create whatever it is you want. Take inspired action towards your intentions. Wait to be guided by your heart and allow your logic to catch up to give you the how of creating them. Prosperity in all ways is yours. Feel the excitement as your soul pleasures you with all the ways prosperity can show up in your life from here on out. Also, rest. Your service will be needed here very soon. Therefore, you will want to be in full power to balance the growth and expansion of your life with the need to serve others in their time of transformation. This is all about flow, and you're about to have it in a way you've never experienced before. If there is anything heavy in your life that could block that flow, please consider allowing me to assist you. Shine brightly, sweet soul. That's how the others will find you who will require your assistance through this grand shift in consciousness. To a happy and intentional new moon. This is Bidette Mayer. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you on the next Daily Tune-In. If today's Daily Tune-In brought you value and insight, please consider giving in return for that value by leaving a love offering. All donations go to keeping this platform operating and in service to humanity during these transformational times. To go even deeper into your soul frequency, please consider these offerings. For personal insights into your most pressing questions and concerns, get an energetic insight reading delivered directly to your inbox. To take a quantum leap in your transformation, book a personal session with Bidette. There are several options available based on how deeply you would like to go into your most desired soul-led life. To find more information and to book your sessions, please visit BidetteMayor.com.